one nil win and a good start to the season. Yeah, I mean, that's, all, that's all that matters really. I think the first game of the season is is very similar to pre-season, but in different ways. It, it's it's almost like a false game. There's so much nerves going into it, and you know that the game's going to be 100 mile an hour, intense. Um, and on the opposite side, pre-season, it's it, it, the results don't really matter. So it's a bit more relaxed and false in that sense. Um, I'm just glad we got the win, really. I think we, we played well at times. I think our players showed tremendous bravery when points are on the line to play like we want to play. And um, obviously it's a risk versus reward type of style of play. Um, we took a few unnecessary risks at times, but also I feel like we, we took risks that we want to take, but just didn't quite execute it as well as uh, we'd have liked. And I think we stifled their main threat. I think there was two different styles today between the two teams. They were very intense, very direct, um, looking for second balls and runners in beyond. And I thought we dealt with that pretty well, pretty well in, in the main. And um, I thought we tried to play our, our, our stuff as well. We would show tremendous patience in the first half at times without maybe then increasing our tempo in that final third like, like we want to. We scored a very good goal. Um, you know, sucked them out, then went then went longer, picked up the second balls. Didn't quite work out for Ruffy, but then Adam Mills is, is bright enough to get on that loose ball and, and hit the target. Um, yeah, all in all, there's not really much to take from it, like I say, because this first game is always a, a pretty false game, but I hope that the fans see the way we're going to try and play this season and we'll need to be better and we will get better as, as, the, as we progress into the season and... Walking away with three points, I couldn't, couldn't be happier. Yeah, it was a, a bit of a, a nervous start. We had a few back passes sort of close, and obviously Josh has only just come into the side in goal. So, but we sort of really, I thought we got stronger as the game went on. I thought Luke Jenkins played really well, especially got better as the game went on as he settled into it. Yeah, I think that first 10 minutes, um, we were poor. We were, we were poor. Um, and I think Spills actually noted down on the bench that in the 10th minute we strung four passes together for the first time and, and we carved them open. And I think that set the tone for the rest of that first half, actually. I thought we, we um, strung a lot of passes together, um, lots of movement, lots of rotation. And there was, there was, there was one pass, um, uh, there was one bit of play there where I thought that if we'd have scored, it, it would have all, almost been a goal of the season contender right from the, right from the outset in terms of like a team goal. Um, so yeah, we we obviously try to play the way we want to play. It it works sometimes, especially in that first half. At times, once we got to grips of that first ten minutes, um, the second half we knew they were going to come at us. And again, it was the intensity of the game increased a lot, particularly what towards the end we had to defend our box really well, and we did that. Um, I feel like when we when we win it in that second half, when we are under so much pressure, we can do a bit better to keep the ball rather than just give it back and then defend our box again but um, a really positive start. Yeah, and then opening day of the season, start of August, you expect nice weather, but the rain in the second half, it didn't make it very easy to play the style that you want to to play with the players that we've got, and they sort of got a little bit better in that period when it really chucked it down. Yeah, you've, you've, given, them a nice <laughs> you've given them a nice excuse there, Ben, but yeah, maybe that did play a part. You know, it was tough to get the weight of pass and, uh, and things that as, as precise as we'd like, especially when you do play a risk style um, of football. But yeah, we need. To, we know we need to be better. Yeah, and uh, the hallmark of your team sort of always sort of hard work and, and design that was shown in the sort of last the latter stages there. Where they got they brought Robinson on with the long throw, and we had to defend that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, first rule is be hard to beat. You know, be hard to beat. Be tough. Fight. Run harder than than your the man you're up against. They're all the the non-negotiables really. Be bright. Um, and I feel that you've got to mention the subs in that as well because it's not an easy moment of the game to come on for any of them. Um, so for them to come on and get up to speed so, as, as quickly as they did was, was tremendous and shows, shows again what we're, what we're about. Yeah, and Ham Hampton next week, two home games in a row to start with. It wouldn't, would have been away, but it switched to home game. How's that uh, sort of worked out for, for you, the two home games to start? Yeah, I think it's great. Yeah, it's obviously unusual, but, um, but it's great. Yeah, we love being here. We want to make our home ground, um, it's a cliche, but a fortress. Um, but 
you know, it's, it's a bit of a unique ground. Um, and we've only had, this is only our second game in it as a group as well. So, um, yeah, uh, hopefully the fans will be encouraged by what they saw today, um, knowing that we'll get better um, and come back vibrant next week with um, having had three points in the bag and trying to, trying to get another win. OK, well done, Robbie. So sort of start to the season and a victory and we'll move on to next week. Cheers, Ben. Thank you.